Hi, welcome to episode three of Coffee with Z. I'm Josh and I'm here with the man himself, Z. Nice to have you here, mate. Always great to be here, Josh. Yeah, Thanks thank for having me. So we're here to talk about Z's post, but the first thing we've got to talk about is what is going on with you in Starbucks? Oh no. I thought um, you were a Costa man. What's going on? I'll be honest what with you, yeah, normally I'm all Costa. Love their frappes, a huge fan, but Starbucks are 24 hours in our area at the moment. So uh, Walmart had a meeting with a client uh, I had to obviously entertain him mm-hmm. and go out there, so we ended up at Starbucks to catch up. That's fair. So, you're talking about your meeting, you had a meeting with Jay in the Starbucks, and he's a property developer? Yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's a property developer and a property investor. Oh, okay. So, he's doing a development at the moment he wanted to have a chat about, mm-hmm. uh, and the implications from a tax perspective and a business perspective around that, and also how it affects his potential property investments as well. Okay, fair. So, why do you feel like having them relationships and having relationships outside of your own company is important? I think they're the key. Uh, as I mentioned in the post, there was a whole host of different points why I think they're so important. Mm-hmm. But ultimately, it's building relationships with people, understanding what's happening. And when you meet people face to face, there's always a little smile. And everyone, since we've been locked down for the last couple of years, mm. I think people have appreciate that a lot more now. No, I get that. So, for anyone that's not seen your post, uh, we did a little tax tip. I was wondering if you could just give the audience a little bit of a recap on that. Yeah, so the tax tip was about a uh, couple of areas. One was about travel subsistence. So, you can travel uh, and claim that in your limited company. Uh, and it's £15 per day generally and £25 overnight. There is certain rules. Um, what you've got to be careful is if you buy the person uh, who you're having a, uh, the meeting with and they're not a employee, they're a client, then unfortunately it's called client entertainment. You can put it through the company, but it's not tax deductible. Okay, so what's the difference with sole traders? Why is that different? This is why I like Josh, he's learning every day, (laughs) he's getting getting his tax knowledge. Um, The sole traders got different rule, HMRC a bit harsh on those. Um, Basically, you have to stay overnight uh, in order to claim the 25 quid. Uh, And they don't really, client entertainment isn't really counted because obviously when you're a sole trader, the tax rules are different. Okay, that's interesting. Right, unfortunately Z, that's all we've got time for. But we'll be back with episode four soon. As always, thank you Z for coming. Always great to be here guys.